um, all right, this is the best evidence. And uh, if, if we cross Colleen Durkach, that will break UAP secrecy wide open. She was abducted and had a flying car that runs on free energy on an advanced civilization. So, uh, you know, I sent this to, to all the UAP Twitter guys. This would be perfect for a documentary. James Fox or really anyone who can uh, take it on. Uh, <laughs> no, no reply, no nothing. Nobody, nobody wants to do it. But the Colleen confession already exists. Five Globe and Mail reporters were at Ryerson and pinned down Colleen and got a confession out of her. Then it was quashed down by David Walmsley, editor of the Globe and Mail. Um, and, and like I say, uh, Robin Doolittle was the main reporter working on it who was at Ryerson in person. And there, there's some, you know, I suspect the, the owner of the Globe and Mail is um, Dave Thompson, an old money oligarch. Uh, maybe he heard about the terrorism warnings and then it was quashed down because they also had the France and coronavirus warnings. 200 witnesses, RTA class of 2015, the, the predictions are an open lecture. Colleen was abducted in broad daylight. 200 witnesses right there. And uh, so how, how, the, how does this come about? How, how am I able to, to abduct Colleen? Well, there is a deathbed confession. And this is a continuation, really. It's in, in a, you know, intergenerational thing. Ingo Swan and Edgar Mitchell on Apollo 14, they, they did an ESP experiment, which resulted in a technology transfer of an otherworldly textbook on zero-point energy. And that went to SRI, where Putoff and Valet get involved. How Putoff and Jacques Valet. Zero-point energy is working now. That is the deathbed confession out of Ingo Swan, 357 The Bowery. And I'm telling you, Swan knew about 9-11. That's what kept the remote viewing program open. And I've named the insider many times, Colonel John Alexander. There's your lizard person. There's your reptilian shapeshifter. Arrow will never give you full disclosure. They're not going to admit uh, Lucifer is the head alien and the battles for the soul of man. I'm telling you, that's what it is. Uh, Swan knows, Putoff knows, and his lips are sealed. Valet knows, and his lips are sealed. Aliens are demons. It's in my last video. Alexander is an insider. They did 9-11. But, so that, this is 1972, where Apollo 14 goes, and, and then Swan moves on to SRA, and they start the remote viewing conference. Uh, 40 years later, they have conferences in remote viewing. 2011 to 2015, I'm an undergrad at Ryerson, RTA class of 2015, media production program. Whole series of predictions in open lecture. Kobe Bryant with the name, date, and place. Uh, the coronavirus. Bataclan Theater in South Danforth, MacArthur in Toronto. The reporters who are the best witnesses, Daniel Dale, Robin Doolittle, Colleen Durkach. Ryerson is a media production program, so it overlaps with the CBC. Uh, you know, Talia Schlanger, Jill Dempsey, Allison Chiasin, all from the CBC, they all confirmed this. And then the review into MacArthur comes along, an investigation into police negligence, the Toronto police. They, the review crosses Ryerson. All the reporters are honest, all Ryerson is honest, they all give the same account as mine. Final report comes out by the Epstein report. And they censor it. Not a word that I was ever there. Like I don't even exist. So then I go to the police board and I said, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> you're liars. You're, you're liar scumbags. And then the police are like, well, too bad. And I appeal this to the IPC and the IPC ruled in my favor, the review must release the audio tape. And uh, after dealing with the police for 40 years now, I reported 9-11 to Toronto police as well. Um, they're liar scumbags. They're always going to lie. Idiot cowards. But my best witnesses, really the best evidence, would be to cross the best witnesses uh, publicly. And that would be John Tory, mayor of Toronto. Prides himself on his integrity. That he's an honest man. How honest is he that he's not standing up to say anything about this? Daniel Dale, another honest witness. He was there when Colleen was abducted. Dale 
left his cell phone at the scene. And uh, Robin Doolittle has a cell phone. Dale went and bought another one. He was afraid it's radioactive. He's scared of it. He doesn't want it back. The someone that the review across told them all this. Because when I gave my statement to the review, they already knew everything. And it's only a few people at Ryerson who would have done that. Ryerson, by the way, how they dealt with this, Julia Shindoy, the, the board secretary, she convened the entire RTA faculty and the five Jane Doe's I'm talking about and took statements from them. That then went to the Globe and Mail. Halen is strong. Shauna is psychic. Maya manifested gold coins. Colleen was abducted. And another Jane Doe can fly and shapeshift. She doesn't want her name given out. Um, so, <laughs> no one's calling me a liar. <laughs> I'm calling all of them a liars. Police, scumbag liars. Dirt, dirt bags, dirty to the core. I can't even stand the sight of them now. And uh, I gave them new information. Since 1990, this has been going on, predicting the next terrorist event. Toronto police are always, eh, eh, it's not our catchment area. Uh, do, 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 don't call us. Do, don't call us. Uh, Saunders, the piece of shit. Mark Saunders, I'm talking about chief of police. He's a piece of shit. Uh, but my best witness is Frank Stronach, head of Magna. He knew about 9-11 in 1990. This would be a deathbed confession. Swan knew about 9-11. Uh, Edgar Mitchell knew about 9-11. They're both dead. My last living best witness is Stronach, who's like 90 years old. He is friends with Bill Clinton. Stronach and Bill Clinton are friends. The 9-11 forewarning went out in 1972. In 1990, Stronach has it. And Daniel Dale is a witness to this. The same Robin Doolittle is a witness to this. 9-11 was also reported to Toronto Police. But they are the idiot cowards of Toronto. Um, and anyway, I've gone, I'm trying to keep these down to five minutes. I've already gone almost to eight minutes. Uh, but here it is, the best evidence. James Fox should take it. Cross my five Jane Doe's. Cross the reporters. Get the reviews audio tape. Zero point energy is working. That's the deathbed confession out of Swan. Zero point energy is working. Swan said so at Orvid 2006. Alexander the Lizard quashed it down. Stronach's lips are sealed. He doesn't want to say nothing. Uh, quite a few of <laughs> my, my witnesses from 1990, are, uh, quite a few are dead. Swan and Mitchell are deceased. Stronach is 90 years old. I am talking about a deathbed confession. Colleen, the confession exists. Robin Doolittle got one. The Review got one. Um, Ryerson got one. Three confessions out of Colleen, and no one wants to make it public. I'm making this video for a documentary producer to come. Collect my best evidence, and there it is. Tomorrow we can have flying cars that run on free energy. At least we'll get zero point energy in the public domain. And I'm offering new predictions of next events. Please always squander it, so forget about them. I'm looking for an RV monitor. Write down my predictions, and we'll put it to YouTube. I'll leave my email. I'm checking it every morning.